Let's start with what's trending here at 10A. And we were talking about the biggest moments from the Academy Awards last night. And number one, it's a no-brainer. You probably heard about it. Certainly one for the record books, and it happened before I'm Will Smith won his first oh, Oscar. Richard. Comedian Chris Rock made a joke aimed at Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, saying he was looking forward to seeing the G.I. Jane, or two, uh, movie. That's the, the movie where Demi Moore was bald. Uh, Jada suffers hair loss due to a disease called alopecia. Moments after that joke, Will Smith walked on the stage, confronted Rock. You saw the slap there. He later went on stage a few minutes later to accept the Oscar for Best Actor for his role in King Richard. And here's what he had to say. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Now, TMZ is all over this story, so we want to bring in Charles Lottaboutier. Uh, Charles, any new fallout from this SmackDown last night? Well, uh, the fallout is going to be coming all day. Um, look, there, there is a, I think this is a good moment um, because, and I could hear how shocked you guys were by this, and, and everyone was, and actually, some people feel it was a very sad moment because it took away from uh, a lot of other great moments last night. Uh, Will Smith clearly, I think, what I read in his speech when he got so emotional was the fact that he knows he went too far. This wasn't the right way to handle it. Um, but there was a moment that we did not see during the broadcast. We've since uh, we found a, a photo that shows during the break, Chris Rock actually came out to Will and Jada's table where they were seated. Uh, Denzel was also there, I guess you could say, sort of playing referee. Um, but they did have a conversation. So, you know, while Will did not apologize during his speech, it's clear that there were words between himself and Chris and Jada after the fact. And I would hope that it's been squashed. The Diddy came out and said uh, at an after party last night, he said that he spoke to all, uh, all, all parties involved and that this has been squashed. I hope so. Um, but uh, wow, yeah. a very, very shocking moment. And, and you know, <laughs> there are a lot of people We've been debating it in this office all morning that, you know, if this was someone else, uh, it's because Will Smith is so beloved that he's kind of getting a pass from a lot of people who are, want to explain away and, you know, say, look, he was defending his family. Um, but uh, if this were anyone else, they, you know, there might be the police might be involved or at the very least, you've been asked to leave the Oscars. But Will Smith also, it would have been awkward if they asked him to leave because he was nominated for Best Actor, and that was still to come. Yeah, and he was a shoe-in for that category as well. A question, though, Charles, any disciplinary action being talked about or, or created for Will Smith, even just to ensure that something like this never happens again? There's not going to be any, uh, any legal <laughs> ramifications here. There's not going to be, you know, the police are not getting involved. In fact, the police... LAPD has already uh, made it clear. They told us that um, that Chris Rock did not want to press charges and they weren't there um, to witness this. So uh, unless Chris Rock wanted to pursue it, nothing would, co would come of this. Um, is the Academy going to do something? That's possible. Uh, you know, look, traditionally, the person who wins Best Actor comes back the next year uh, to present the, the award for Best Actress. Well, you know, that's going to be weird. Um, I, that's the only thing I could see as a possibility here, but the Academy hasn't said one way or another. I think, look, they've got roughly 360 days before they have to make that decision. So I wouldn't expect to hear them, you know, issuing any sort of punishment for Will Smith. I'm sure the Academy will also watch and see the reaction in the next yeah. couple of days. Like you said, they have some time. That's exactly they would, what they're right? going to do. Yeah. So they're going to see right. how this falls and then decide They'll take what the they want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I noticed is that he was not in the picture with the other actors who had won in the best supporting and the lead actor categories, which is generally a tradition after the Oscars. I don't know if he yeah. left or if he was barred from, be from so, being in that photo. 
Uh, I, I don't know if I don't think he was banned, but um, when he wasn't in that photo, I think a lot of people thought that, wow, maybe, you know, after what was clearly um, an embarrassing situation that Will just went home, he did not. He actually went to the at least we you know he went to the Vanity Fair after party, he may have gone to others, but he was there with his family all around him. Um, and people, you know, it wasn't like he was shunned. He, uh, people were around him celebrating the fact that it's just such, such a weird uh, dichotomy of you did something that clearly I think most people think agree crossed the line. Um, and even if you think that Chris Rock crossed the line, Will Smith also crossed the line. But uh, uh, you have that <laughs> juxtaposed right next to the fact that he won the Academy for Best Actor. Um, and so what do you do? And what we saw at the Vanity Fair party is that, um, you know, people like Trevor Noah walked up to him. There were a lot of long embraces where he had conversations uh, with people as music is blaring, but everybody wanted to say something to him. Um, and and then they were, you know, they played <laughs> getting jiggy with it like you guys did. And uh, people were around him, you know, celebrating, dancing and will seemed by the end of the night to be willing to uh, have fun. He still had, when he walked into this party, by the way, and he was talking to Trevor Noah, his eyes were still, you know, he, it was clear that he had been crying and that he was upset about what had happened that night. Real, real quickly, uh, and this doesn't have to be a long answer, Charles, but just because you guys kind of hear things before we do, and you were talking about people embracing him, and obviously it seems like, I mean, this wasn't an, an incredibly insulting joke to like make someone snap. You know what I mean? It almost seems like there's a bigger picture here. Maybe this was the straw that broke yes. the camel's back. But has there been any talk about stuff going on? Yeah. To me, it seemed like Will wasn't necessarily in a good place. There, there. I, I agree with you. I think that this was this this was a case of the straw that broke the camel's back. You remember early. Uh, earlier in the evening, uh, Regina Hall had made a, a comment about wanting to bring Will up on stage and that Jada had cleared it um, because she was fine with, you know, you guys have an open relationship is what she was referring to. And there was, a, you know, they cut to Will and Jada. There was some uncomfortable laughter there. So you had that joke and then Chris's joke. And also, this is the other thing. Six years ago, I believe it was six years ago when Chris Rock was hosting um, Will there were, that was the first year that people were saying Oscars, Oscars so white. Um, and there were people calling for a boycott. Jada was among those people. And Chris Rock made a joke that night about how absurd it was that Jada Pinkett was um, was boycotting the Oscars. Like, she's not in movies. She's on TV. So and he got some laughs, but a lot of people felt like that was an unnecessary jab at Jada. Maybe, you know, some people pointed that as as being some context here as to why Will snapped at what honestly wasn't that bad of a joke. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, as Chris Rock, even Chris Rock said, he's like, come on, that was a, that was a, that was a fun one. Mm -hmm. But obviously Will did not take it that way. Obviously not. Although I will say this guys, do you, you remember the moment when Chris told that joke, Will Smith laughed. Yes, I mean, it was I saw that. An uncomfortable, about that. it was an uncomfortable fake laugh. I, I saw that. But then when you saw Jada's <laughs> eye roll, it's almost like, and I wish they had the moment, they cut away, I wish yeah. they had the moment where Will noticed that Jada was upset mm -hmm. because that's clearly what he was reacting to. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, all right, lots to unpack. Um, Charles, thanks for helping out with that. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, my pleasure, guys.